former President Donald Trump has never been very adept at masking his true emotions. He is confident in his ability to complete the deal, no matter how firmly he has previously weakened his position. So if he says something disadvantageous, he seems to believe that saying more could get him back on track. So it just says something. But sometimes the things he says are more revealing than he intended. So did the comments he made on social media early Monday. The post on Truth Social included many of standard accusations and complaints his rivals for 2024. Republican nomination were bad for a variety of reasons. Left is dangerous. Right is ineffective. Etc. What was important in the post was its basis. Josh Shapiro's announcement that people who get driver's licenses in the state will automatically be registered to vote. Radical left Governor Josh Shapiro announced the switch to automatic voter registration, which is a disaster for electoral Republicans, including your favorite President M.E. Trump wrote, this is a completely unconstitutional law and should be met harshly by the Republican leadership. In Washington and Pennsylvania, H has said similar things before. But that was before his breathtaking effort to retain power despite losing that year's presidential election. His unsubstantiated claims about the threat of in mail in ballots were not exposed, even though he insisted that they were. But with no credible evidence of widespread, he and his allies changed their rhetoric. Perhaps the problem not that was occurring, but rather that the system rigged against him. This was a useful claim because it was vague. Things like accurate reporting of his presidency can be presented as an elite plot to ensure he loses. But most of time, cheating. Claim focused on expansion of voting mechanisms prompted by pandemic. Trump and his allies, such as attorney John Eastman, opposed Pennsylvania's efforts to make voting mail easier as an unconstitutional handicap of sitting president. The fact that change was made by Republican legislature before pandemic and was approved state. Supreme Court seemingly offers little reason to correct that position. When Wisconsin's conservative majority Supreme Court ruled that state could not allow absentee ballot drop boxes in 2022, Trump and his allies exaggerated decision to validate their claims about security of election. In reality, there is no evidence of significant mail-in ballot or drop box in 2020. But it was useful to imply, as in the social media post about the tremendous potential for that these systems were dangerous because Trump thought they gave Democrats an advantage. Just like Pennsylvania's new voter registration process. He thinks so. But he doesn't argue that it will encourage in this case. Share this article it's worth thinking about this for a moment. Trump is simply saying that increasing the number of registered voters would be bad for his party. He and his allies will arguably pile on some pee.